hello friends so guys it's a popular error this page isn't working so I was trying to open this website so did not send any data error empty response so I'll be guiding you step by step today so there are lots of reason why you are getting this error message so today we are going to fix it completely guys so the first thing you can try you just have to reload the page so you can see here is the reload icon so here is the several best steps that you need to take first even I will be guiding you some of the alternate steps for the computer for the Android and even for the iPhone and iPad so the best solution from support dot google dot com so it's the best solution from here so guys what you can do for the computer so it's a common step reloading the page so here's the reload this page so you just have to click on reload this page it's a very common step for all computer android iphone and all so this might fix your problem guys so the next step that you can try is So if this do not fix your issue, so the next thing you can try is check your internet connection. So you might get this kind of error because of the internet connection problem. So make sure that you can see over here your internet is connected. If you have a problem with your internet, you can just uh, check your router and modem everything properly and some of the common internet issue you can fix it so couple of steps that you need to try so go to the start and then or you can search for CMD guys so go to the start go to the search bar or the start of your computer and then you have to open command prompt so you can even search for the command prompt So here it is guy command prompt even you can type cmd and you can search for the command prompt so right click on it so once you right click on it you have to run as administrator if it asks you for any permission click on yes and then guys you're gonna see here you have command prompt so once you open the command prompt as an administrator okay guys you can see here administrator command prompt you're gonna have to type this okay guys so one by one you're gonna type all this in a command prompt so click on enter So this is the next command that you need to type in your command prompt. Done with that. So this is the fourth command. Sorry guys, this is the third command that you need to type in a command prompt. So you must restart your computer in order to complete. So restart your computer and then after restarting your computer you're going to type this fourth command. So all these four commands is a very important step guys that you need to follow in order to fix your common problems like very common internet issue if everything is fine with the modem and cable if internet is connected for type this four command in a command prompt as i have been guided you you can restart your computer after that and you can open the browser and check for the website you are looking for you will not be getting any more 
issue. So this will definitely fix. You will not be getting any issue like the page cannot be connected. Page isn't working, empty response, all this error will go away guys. So this is the second steps that you can follow. So what you can do in the third step. So before I proceed to the third step, you can make a note of all these command guys. You can pause the video and make a note of all these commands. So the third step is clear your case, open the page in a new Igneo City window and try opening the page. So you have to go over here, three dotted line you're going to see, go to the history and then history. Click on this clear browsing data. So from this drop down icon, select all time and then check all these box guys. So you can check all these box. So once you check all this box, you're going to click on clear data. So once you clear data, it will wipe out everything guys. So once you have done with that, that is the third step that you can follow. So the fourth step is guys, same you're going to see three dotted line, click on new Ignosit window. That will open the new Ignosit window. You're going to type your URL over here. So whatever page you are trying to open and it was not opening, you can type the same path over here. You can copy the path from there and you can type over here and then you're going to check whether your page is working or not. This will help you get access to the that page if ha it has some kinds of restriction. So this is a special browser. It's a Ignosit browser. So it's a new Ignosit window. It has a special features that will help you get access to the page, some of the restricted page. So this is the another steps that you can try. So what is the next that you can try? So the next step that you're gonna try you have to close all the unwanted tabs. All right. Close all the unwanted tabs. Go to the three dotted line and then go to the more tools and extension. You can delete all the unwanted extensions. So you have a delete icon guys. All the extension that you are not using, you're gonna have to delete all the unwanted, unused, useless extension. Next step you can follow. Go to the same three dotted line, settings. At the bottom, click on advance. And here is the reset. Even you can go to the setting over here and then here is the reset. So you just have to click on reset and then reset your Chrome browser to the default setting. So this is the another step that you can follow. If all these do not fix your issue, you're going to have to restart your computer and update your Chrome. So the next you can do is go to the same three dotted line, click on settings, and then here you have three dash line. Click on it. It's a menu. Click on about Chrome and you can see it is checking for the updates now. Make sure you check for the updates and update your Chrome. Even you can get help, you can report issue if you get any kinds of issue. You can see updating Chrome is now 100%. Even this do not fix your issue. So the final step that you can try is, you can check for the unwanted software in your computer and you can remove it. So you have already restarted, updated. So this is one final step. So here's the path guys, www.google.com slash chrome slash cleanup hyphen tools. So you can just make a note of it. So 
so guys I'm just going to paste it over here so you can just visit this path so you can pause the video and make a note of it guys you just have to visit this path ok guys visit this and then you can download the cleanup tools so it's a chrome cleanup tools that will remove all the unwanted software from your computer and then you can restart your computer and start using the chrome browser so following all these steps all these are the possible best steps that you can take in order to fix this problem guys so following all these steps no more error message like page is not working empty response so your page is not working empty response all gonna go away and you can start using chrome guys okay guys you can follow all these steps to fix make sure you share this video you can help out many other people and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel click on bell icon for quick notification i'll catch you in the next video with another great stuff great update always check the video description for few more stuff have a good day catch you in the next video